It's been a really big week this week. We've uh, opened up the doors of the training centre to uh, over 30 schools and 400 uh, students to come and have a look at uh, the opportunities available to the automotive industry. We've also exposed them to some of the new technology. So we've got um, electric vehicles here, we've got electric motorbikes, uh, we've got an autonomous uh, bus here that was the first vehicle used um, in a trial in Australia. Um, so to give them a taste of what's coming through, uh, we've opened up the paint booths, um, the heavy vehicle centre and, and a lot of uh, simulations and, and a lot of activities that the students can actually uh, just experience what they'd be doing as part of their qualification. So it's really a, a massive skill shortage as you know. We have been working really hard with the schools um, trying to promote the opportunities within the automotive industry, not just from a, um, a technician point of view but across the whole industry and really we're keen to, to try and bridge that gap. Um, working with the schools, we're really thankful for all of the industry for working with us, um, exposing, loaning some of the vehicles, uh, putting on displays and, and sort of joining us in our quest to actually promote the opportunities and show all of the opportunities out there. It was great to have Deputy Premier Susan Close with us today. It was also great to have the Skills Minister Blair Boyer. Um, both of them they were really good sports. They engaged with all of the exhibitions and all of the activities. Uh, we even had Blair going into the, the paint booth and painting a, a panel. Um, so it was great to have the, the government support. It's so great to be here at the Expo today at the MTA. One of the things I love about what people can see here, what the young kids can see here, is how technology is changing. You're going from combustion engines to hybrid to full electric and even autonomous vehicles. That's the future of the automotive industry. That's the future of being sustainable. And I think it's wonderful that young people here will be able to see that they can get jobs, they can have apprenticeships and they can have a future in this industry. It's been a lot of fun to be here at the MTA today. I've even had a go uh, with the paint and panel and using uh, the spray gun. I've used the virtual reality system to look inside some of the vehicles that the people here at the MTA uh, will learn how to service and work on. Uh, and even had a competition with uh, the Deputy Premier with the rattle guns on changing uh, some tyres. But uh, really what it's shown us, I think, is the uh, variety and diversity of skills that are needed in the automotive industry now. It's different to how it used to be when they just worked with combustion engines. Electric vehicle technology has really changed things and it's fantastic that South Australia has a training organisation like the MTA which is really focused on making sure uh, that our next generation of uh, young people have the skills to work with the vehicles of the future. And uh, The Malinowskis Labor Government made a commitment before the state election that we would provide $280,000 over two years towards mentoring of apprentices because uh, we know that we have strong commencements here in terms of apprenticeships and traineeships in South Australia but we have a real problem with commencement. So we're providing money to great groups like the MTA to make sure they can put the support around those apprentices that they need to get all the way through from the start to the finish and we can get them into the workforce and fill those real skill shortages that we have here in South Australia.